Okay, so I wanted to give a quick preview of the Invalid Links Checker, a new product from PHP Link Directory. And what we've done is I have a directory that's set up that's sort of a spam trap where we get a bunch of submissions uh, for free and it's been up there for a long time. And obviously uh, there's going to be a good amount of spam in such a directory. So uh, if you take a look here, uh, we have to establish a database connection and uh, you might want to check with your host. There's a setting in cPanel where you can get a remote connection to the database and then you enter the, da the site name the database username and the password for the database and you click connect to server which I've already done. After I click connect to server I click analyze selected table and it will uh, bring up the uh, it will get up the get the fields from the table in the database. Now this product actually doesn't work only with PHP link directory but you can use it with other directory products as well just when it comes to selecting a table the ID and the URL um, you, you might have to make a few adjustments, but it does work with other products. Now, I'm going to pause this for a second. Uh, what I've done, uh, we have a few different checks you can make. There's a fishtank.com um, database that'll check for phishing sites. Uh, I prefer the Google malware, which I think is a little bit bigger. And it's going to check the Google uh, database for malware. Now, what it does is it, get, it gets a local copy of all those sites. And then it quickly can spider them so you're not taxing Google, uh, which might be against their terms of service. Also, there's a text file inside the same folder where the application is uh, stored. And you have a list of spam words, lots of uh, nasty words that you probably wouldn't want to, I couldn't repeat. Uh, and you can change the, the words in, in that. You'll see I have some words that aren't necessarily spam, but can be used to flag sites that I might not want to include in my directory. And then park domains, What well, this is really cool. Um, we look for a sort of a signature that the park domain displays, uh, and then we're able to identify different park domains, like say from GoDaddy or DS Ultra. There are a number of uh, park domains that this application will find and lets you know that you, you're linking to a, a site that is parked, which is probably not uh, a, a good site for your users. So I'm going to take a look at these results that we have now. Um, I've only done a couple hundred sites out of a very large database, um, but I'm going to sort by, I've got, um, you can see we found a uh, GoDaddy park domain, and let's see, double check that one. And we can see, indeed, it is a park domain. Let's close that. And then um, it found XXX as spam words. That may not be uh, spam, so let's look at what some of the spam words it found. You can see we have some uh, some pop a lot of drug sites. Um, shoes isn't necessarily spam, but it was one of the words in the text file, and you could have changed it yourself. Ringtones, and I won't mention some of the words, but you can see we have some a lot of drug sites. I noticed Levitra, pharmacy, hair loss, gambling, and some of these sites may be just fine. You may want them in your directory. I probably wouldn't want a good number of these. So what I would do is I would mark all the selected ones as invalid, and then. Um, and then that would that would just kill the kill the sites and they wouldn't be shown in my directory. I also could delete them, but first I would want to select the ones that I don't want, right? Now, to, for safety's sake, I could also export everything to CSV first, uh, and that way I'd have a backup before I proceeded. But this thing actually connects to the database. You can select the links that you don't like, and then you can destroy them. So, and I think that would be a very good thing because. Google probably doesn't like a directory that has a bunch of junk in it. And uh, this is one way that you can increase the quality in a somewhat automated fashion um, and uh, hopefully will help you with your directory. So thanks for watching the demo and I hope that you will enjoy using this new product.